For employees paid by cash, go to Reports, Payroll Analysis, Pay Method Summary. The most recent pay period updated will be displayed on screen. Historical pay periods can be viewed by selecting the pay period required in the Pay Date drop-down menu. The total cash requirements can be viewed within the Pay Method section. A breakdown of the employees whose pay method is cash will be displayed within the Pay Summary section by selecting Cash option. To print the Pay Method Summary, simply click the Print button. Alternatively, go to Reports, Payroll Analysis, Print Payroll Analysis for other printing options. An individual cash requirement summary can also be viewed and printed by going to Reports, Payroll Analysis, Cash Summary. For employees pay by cheque, go to Reports, Payroll Analysis, Pay Method Summary. The most recent pay period updated will be displayed on screen. Historical pay periods can be viewed by selecting the pay period required in the drop-down menu. The total of cheques can be viewed within the Pay Method section. A breakdown of the employees whose payment method is cheque will be displayed within the Pay Summary section by selecting the cheque option. To print the Pay Method Summary, simply click the Print button. Alternatively, go to Reports, Payroll Analysis, Print Payroll Analysis for other printing options. For employees paid by credit transfer, go to Reports, Payroll Analysis, Pay Method Summary. The most recent pay period updated will be displayed on screen. Historical pay periods can be viewed by selecting the pay period required in the Pay Date drop-down menu. The total of credit transfers can be viewed within the Pay Method section. A breakdown of the employees whose pay method is credit transfer will be displayed within the Pay Summary section by selecting the Credit Transfer option. Once again, to print the Pay Method Summary, simply click the Print button. Alternatively, go to Reports, Payroll Analysis, Print Payroll Analysis for other printing options.